the Nigerian government has suspended indefinitely the operations of the microblogging and social networking service Twitter in Nigeria. Minister of Information and Culture Lai Mohammed announced the suspension in a statement signed by a special assistant, Shegun Adeyemi, citing the persistent use of the platform for activities that are capable of undermining Nigerians' corporate existence. The minister said the federal government has also directed the National Broadcasting Commission, NBC, to immediately commence the process of licensing on OTT and social media operations in Nigeria. The development comes after Twitter deleted President Muhammadu's tweets where he threatened to treat Nigerians misbehaving in the language they understand. Buhari has tweeted on Tuesday stated that his government would you know, get harder on those hell-bent on destroying the country. He said those wanting to destroy his government will receive the shock of their lives as his administration will do everything possible to ensure the fail. The president said the sponsors and orchestrators of insecurity in the country are doing so because they want his administration to fail. His tweet had read, I receive daily security reports on the attacks on critical national infrastructures and it is very clear that those behind them want this administration to fail. Whoever wants the destruction of the system will soon have the shock of their lives. We have given them enough time. I received a briefing today from the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, on the series of attacks on their facilities nationwide. These attacks are totally unacceptable and we will not allow those behind them to achieve their you know, evil objectives. I receive daily security reports on the attacks on critical national infrastructures and it is very clear that those behind them want this administration to fail. Whoever wants the destruction of the system will soon have the shock of their lives because we have given them enough time. I have assured INEC that we will you know, make available to them everything they need to operate effectively so that no one will say we don't want to go or that we want a third time. There will be no excuse for failure. We will meet all the INEX demands. In the area of security, we have changed the service chief and the inspector general and we are demanding that they rise fully to the challenges confronting us. There must be zero tolerance for all those bent on destroying our country by promoting crime and insurrection. Many of those misbehaving today are too young to be aware of the destruction and loss of lives that occurred during the Nigerian Civil War. Those of us in the field for 30 months who went through the war, we treat them in the language they will understand. The president's Twitter account was reported by Nigerians who understood the last you know, part of the trade as threats against the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, and its military wing, the Eastern Security Network, ESN. Many minded Buhari of the consequences of the Nigerian Civil War, which lasted from 1967 to 1970, stating that such must not be repeated. Over 3 million Nigerians, mostly Igbo people, died during the war. Millions of people, especially children, also, you know, starved to death. Social media users likened President's you know, statements to that of the former United States President Donald Trump, which earned a latter a permanent, you know, suspension. Trump's Twitter account was permanently suspended due to the risk of further incitement of violence, Twitter had said. Twitter said the decision was made after a close review of recent tweets from the real Donald Trump account. Trump was locked out of his account for 12 hours after he called the people who stormed the US Capitol patriots. 
Hundreds of his supporters entered the complex as the U.S. Congress attempted to certify Joe Biden's victory in the presidential election. The you know, ensuing violence led to the death of four civilians and a police officer. Twitter warned then that it would ban Trump permanently if he breached the platform's role again. Trump posted two tweets further that the company cited as the final straws. Following the widespread condemnation of the tweet, Twitter deleted the message on Wednesday. The platform said the message by the Nigerian president violated its rule. What is your say to this? What is your thought on what we have had so far? You know, on what we have had so far, so many things are happening in Nigeria. What is your thought about this? We have heard about what has been said about the Twitter handle of the you know Nigerian president. The Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, announced the suspension in a statement signed by a special assistant, Shegwan Diemi, citing the persistent use of the platform for activities that are, you know, capable of undermining Nigerian's corporate existence. We have had Buhari, you know, hitting back at Twitter, and suspend its operational indefinitely in Nigeria. What is your say to this? We would like you to drop your thoughts on what has been said. So many things are happening in Nigeria. We would like you to drop your thoughts about this. But before we go, let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Let's see what people have in mind concerning the present situation of Nigeria. Toby Jude reacted to this and said, A brainless government who is scared of criticism and opposition. Buhari thinks he can violate human rights and go scoff free. We have heard what Toby Jude have said concerning the present situation of Nigeria that this present government they are brainless and they are scared of criticism and opposition he said the president buhari you know thinks he can violate human rights and just go like that he thinks he can violate human rights and go just free like that without anybody you know accusing him of the wrongs he has done what is your thought about this this has brought so many reactions from people about the threat the you know president has you know tweeted to through his Twitter handle. What is your say to this? Do you think the president is the person who wrote this tweet? We have heard so many times that could the president even handle an Android phone? We have heard so many things about this. Some people have said this thing have been written by his presidential aides. It's either Islam Mohammed or Gaba Shil. These people should be held responsible for the tweet and not the president because the president you know perhaps don't even know how to operate you know an android phone of which has been said earlier well we have seen so many people reacted to this we have seen people with different you know point of view concerning the present situation we would like you to drop your thoughts on what has been said we'd like to see your own point of view and reaction to this thank you guys for listening to subscribe to this channel if you have not and i'll see you on the other news bye for now